The Rough Riders open up a three-game series against the Midland Rockhounds on Monday night, the first-place club from the South Division in the second half coming in for a pivotal series for Frisco. Frank Lopez pitched well, getting a couple of strikeouts here in the first, one of Chapman, one of Munoz. Starts Marin Cove in the second inning with a breaking ball, caught looking, and in the third, Wade Kirkland down on the fastball, Franklin Barreto down on another breaking ball. Five strikeouts for Lopez in the first three innings. He would finish with seven. The Rough Riders, though, gave up the first run of the ball game. Came in the fourth inning here on a single by Vio Sergi Rosa. That scored Matt Chapman from third base to make it one to nothing Midland. Fast forward to the next inning. That was an unearned run in the fourth. It was not an unearned run in the fifth. Back-to-back -back singles put runners at first and second after a fielder's choice. Matt Chapman came to the plate, and Chapman comes through. RBI single back up the middle. Base hit his second of the ball game, and the Rockhounds are on top by a 2-0 score. Frisco had some chances after Ben Bracewell exited the ball game, who gave up just two singles in four innings. Corey Walter started the fifth with one out, gives up a single here to Luis Marte, one of three hits for Marte on the day, who leads the Texas League in batting over the last two weeks. Two batters later with two outs, Luis Mendez. He lines a single to left, runners at first and second now with two away. Next up, Isaiah kiner falefa at the plate ahead 2-0, but he grounds out here to second base, and that ends the inning. The Rough Riders turned away in the fifth. They left a runner on at third in the sixth, and in the seventh, leading off the inning, Alexis Bell. He shoots this ball into the right field corner. That is extra base territory at Dr. Pepper Ballpark. He's got two easily and is thinking at three. Look at him fly around the bases. But look at this relay come in from Midland. What a play. They get Bell out at third base for the first out of the inning. Next hitter, Luis Marte, though. He keeps the hit parade going, singling back up the middle. His second hit of the day. And there's a runner on with one out. Two batters later. Again, it's Mendez teaming up with Marte. He picks up his second base knock. And the Rough Riders have runners at first and second again with two outs. Another shot for Isaiah kiner falefa and unfortunately he would not come through as Corey Walter gets another ground ball out to get out of the inning. 6-3 here to end the frame. Midland had tacked on a run in the seventh, leading it 3 to nothing to the ninth inning with two outs. The Rough Riders down to their last out, and well, look at this, Marte comes through again. He doubles almost off the wall in the air in left field, his third hit of the night. He went three for four, cruising into second base. The Rough Riders needed just to get Kellen Deglin aboard, and they would bring the tying run to the plate. But Deglin down in the count, no balls in one strike. Grounds out here to second. Munoz throws it on to first, and that's the ball game. Hard hit, but the final out, and the Rough Riders drop it by the final score of 3-0. Frisco's now 11 out of first place. They'll continue their series with Midland on Tuesday night at 7.05 as they send David Perez to the bump. Winning pitcher on Monday was Corey Walter. He's now 3-2. and two. Frank Lopez suffers the loss. He drops to 5-6, and six, and Jake Sanchez picked up the win. It was his sixth. The Rockhounds are a league best 26-12 and 12 now in the second half. Frisco is at 15-23. <laughs>